And that tunnel sends beams of energy in a vast circle. Scientists warn today that climate change is warming the planet to the point where it's causing irreversible damage in some parts of the world. For many years, the European Council for Nuclear Research, CERN, has been dedicated to pushing the limits of our understanding of how the universe works. Researchers at CERN have recently uncovered an alarming phenomenon unfolding across our planet. The center of the Earth is moving around terrifyingly, and researchers worry about the future. What causes the Earth to spin abnormally, and what dangers does this pose to our existence? Join us as we unravel the shocking news just revealed by CERN. Earth's Early Warning Signs Earth is going through some serious and fast changes in its climate and geology. We're seeing more earthquakes, volcanic eruptions, floods, storms, and strange temperature changes. Recently, we've noticed some worrying things happening deep within the Earth, like the core moving and the planet spinning differently. The magnetic field is acting weird, and even the air around us is changing. All of these unusual events are happening at the same time, suggesting that something big might be going wrong with our planet. This isn't just about Earth, though. Every 12,000 and 24,000 years, our solar system goes through intense changes, affecting all the planets. This pattern of disasters seems to be caused by something outside our solar system, like a cosmic event. It's a cycle that could bring about the end of humanity and our home, Earth. Looking at Mars, we can see similarities, hinting at what might happen to us. In the past, Earth has managed to survive these cycles, but this time might be different. The main reason we're facing this threat is because of what we humans have done. We've treated our oceans badly, filling them with harmful pollutants that stop them from regulating temperature properly. Now, there's too much heat building up inside the Earth, and it needs to get out fast. If it doesn't, it could cause massive destruction on the surface and in the air, like a heart attack for Mother Earth. The scientists at CERN spent years studying climate change and its effects on our world. But it's not something that's always taken seriously, especially in politics or mainstream academia. Understanding this complex issue means looking at many different areas of science, not just geophysics and astrophysics, but others too. Realizing the complexity of understanding global climate change, experts knew they needed help from various fields to truly grasp the topic. Despite good intentions, the scientific community often finds itself divided due to conflicting interests, hindering progress in tackling tough problems. This narrow focus can't adequately address the urgent need to understand how all layers of the Earth are changing simultaneously, putting our planet at risk. Finding a solution to this problem took time until 2022, when an event in Washington, D.C. brought forth a new climate change report presented by members of the American chapter of the Creative Society Project. This report summarized years of research on the increasing frequency and intensity of climate disasters and explored ways to predict and mitigate them. The report contained valuable scientific data from geology, climatology, and seismology, along with a detailed analysis of Earth's core dynamics and its connection to space cycles. This aligned closely with existing research and expertise. What stood out was its discussion of supranational security, a topic rarely addressed in such depth. This report wasn't just about highlighting the worsening state of the planet's ecosystem, it emphasized the urgent need to find solutions to combat climate change. It was a turning point, showing that a comprehensive interdisciplinary approach is vital in addressing our planet's challenges. The findings caught the attention of many, sparking collaboration with the Creative Society. Their works, publications, and scientific knowledge became subjects of intense study. In April 2023, an international forum titled Global Crisis, There is a Way Out, further solidified the engagement. The forum, translated into 150 languages, showcased a broad reach. Delving into the extensive climate report, presented in two parts at different international forums, revealed its high scientific worth. Rooted in thorough analyses of geophysical and astronomical events, the report explored changes in Earth's core, oceans, atmosphere, and outer space. The interdisciplinary approach impressed, emphasizing logical coherence and a monumental international effort. Despite being presented in non-specialist language, the report's mathematical model of climate change catastrophe progression stood out. It suggested a high likelihood of Earth losing its atmosphere by 2036 due to volcanic activity near the Mariana Trench, leading to drastic environmental transformations similar to Mars. The assertion that life on Earth could become unbearable within seven years due to rising temperatures, seismic activity, and extreme weather events is terrifying. Verification of the mathematical model's conclusions using publicly available data affirmed their accuracy. It provided compelling evidence supporting the urgency of addressing climate change. The findings presented by the Creative Society are deeply rooted in credible and verifiable open data sources. What stood out the most was that all the data shared at the forum came from publicly available sources. They were the first to gather, analyze, and draw conclusions from this information, which was surprising. The data clearly show that disasters on Earth are increasing rapidly, and within just 13 years, the planet might become uninhabitable, 
which is a worrying fate for humanity. This information raises serious concerns, and it's why this topic is being brought to attention. Before diving into the main points of the talk, it's important to highlight something crucial. The remarkable precision and depth of understanding of Earth's changing climate, presented by the Creative Society participants. Their analysis surpasses the capabilities of many universities and nations, which begs the question, where do these ordinary volunteers get such profound knowledge? Unveiling Global Insights and Opinions Upon digging deeper, it's discovered that among the groups involved in the Creative Society project is an international public movement called Alatra. Volunteers from Alatra have been actively engaged in raising awareness about the worsening climate disasters and their repetitive nature since 2014. Although the official Creative Society project began in 2019, it's evident that the efforts of these dedicated volunteers have provided the foundational scientific knowledge for the project. In essence, the scientific insights cultivated by Alatra continue to be spread through the Creative Society project, highlighting the joint effort involved in addressing pressing global issues. The vast wealth of scientific knowledge made accessible to the public via the project appears to be just the beginning when compared to the immense wealth of expertise held by members of the Alatra movement. This revelation naturally ignites curiosity about the origins of this knowledge within Alatra. Upon thorough investigation, it becomes evident that long before the official registration of this international movement, an unofficial and extensive interdisciplinary community of scholars had been actively involved for decades. This community consisted of professionals spanning diverse fields, such as physics, geophysics, geology, history, archaeology, neurophysiology, political science, religious studies, psychology, psychiatry, and various other scientific disciplines. These scholars were dispersed across different scientific institutions and laboratories worldwide, united by a genuine thirst for knowledge. However, despite their expertise, they often found themselves hindered by censorship and pressure from the academic establishment, limiting their exploration of crucial facets within their fields. Thus they embarked on an independent venture, pooling their associate expertise to delve into the history, planet, and society as a whole, unrestricted by conventional limitations. They readily incorporated theories into their work that had been banned or overlooked by the mainstream scientific community. This international community of scholars engaged in an extensive exploration of various aspects of nature and the cosmos, spanning a broad spectrum of scientific disciplines. For example, they delved into realms such as particle physics, quantum physics, nuclear physics, astrophysics, climatology, paleoclimatology, archaeology, geology, geophysics, glaciology, gerontology, biophysics, psychology, linguistics, religious studies, and psychophysiology, among numerous others. Their collective research has unveiled profound and irreversible shifts occurring on Earth, delicately linked to the impact of recurring cosmic events. An interesting revelation has surfaced from a group of researchers. They've pinpointed a particular type of cosmic radiation, previously overlooked by modern science, that repeatedly affects Earth's core every 12,000 years. This cosmic phenomenon disrupts the planet's geological and climatic balance, leading to a series of natural disasters. The destabilization of Earth's core triggers more frequent and intense earthquakes, volcanic eruptions, tsunamis, hurricanes, floods, droughts, and other catastrophic events. These scientists predict that these calamities will continue to a level where they pose a grave threat to human lives, infrastructure, and even the stability of civilization itself. Recognizing the urgency of their findings, the scientists knew they couldn't keep silent. However, they also understood the risks involved in speaking out openly. Revealing their research could endanger their lives, endanger their careers, and cut off their access to essential laboratories and equipment. Moreover, challenging the established scientific narrative would invite persecution and threats from those invested in maintaining the current situation. Hence, the scientists devised a careful strategy. They established an organization to promote information exchange and coordinated actions. Additionally, they sought ways to spread their knowledge to the public carefully. Eventually, they launched an international public movement named Alatra. This movement garnered support from ordinary individuals worldwide, uniting people across various countries and professions who shared an interest in scientific exploration and environmental preservation. Alatra provided a platform for scientists and professionals from diverse backgrounds to collaborate without constraints. Freed from institutional directives, scientists could pursue genuine scientific inquiry, while supporters actively spread awareness about climate change and impending catastrophes through various channels, including the internet, social media, videos, books, lectures, and other educational formats. In this way, Alatra became a rallying point for a global community committed to understanding and reducing the looming threats facing our planet. Similarly, practical experiments and observations were carried out to validate the theory proposed by the scientists. The Alatra researchers employed methods from various scientific fields, including linguistics, archaeology, astronomy, geology, and paleoclimatology. 
They carefully compared information from diverse sources worldwide, identifying recurring patterns and trends. Critically evaluating existing theories, they suggested alternative hypotheses, using their expertise for the collective benefit of humanity. This careful effort echoes deeply with scientific pursuits across different disciplines, whether exploring particle physics or studying volcanic processes. Alatra adopts a similar approach, delving into the study of religion from a scientific perspective. They study religious doctrines, social dynamics, and psychological aspects, as well as the historical, philosophical, symbolic, and ethical dimensions of world religions. They investigate how politics, economics, and personal motives have influenced and distorted religious teachings. A Guide of Scientific Perception Alatra emphasizes the wisdom of historical figures respected as prophets in various religions, recognizing them as supporters of ethical and moral behavior. These prophets warned about repetitive climatic catastrophes and their consequences, echoing the themes discussed within Alatra's framework. However, despite its scientific nature, many fail to grasp the profound significance of Alatra's findings, dismissing it as merely religious ideology. In reality, Alatra represents a store of scientific knowledge, serving as an interdisciplinary hub dedicated to preserving humanity's existence. Those who misconstrue Alatra as a religious institution are either misinformed or biased, failing to recognize its immense value for humanity. Indeed, Alatra faces opposition and persecution from powerful entities that seek to maintain the present condition, revealing inconvenient truths about the world's governance. Nevertheless, the most pressing aspect of Alatra's knowledge for humanity pertains to its understanding of climate change and the worsening tragedy. Beyond recognizing these challenges, Alatra offers insights into overcoming this unexpected crisis in human history. This aspect remains the focal point of concern and interest, holding the key to securing humanity's future amidst the unfolding environmental crisis. This wisdom stems from a deep understanding of the rules that govern both Earth and outer space. It helps foresee and imagine what might happen with our climate in the future, and what that could mean for life on our planet. This understanding isn't just helpful, it's crucial for humanity's survival in the face of the looming threat of climate change. To preserve the planet and the future, we can't afford to overlook or dismiss this knowledge. Now, let's look into what has been uncovered about Alatra and the activities of a secretive international scientific community. This group has been quietly working behind the scenes since 1996, studying the changes happening in our planet's climate and geology. Their journey began with the detection of significant shifts in Earth's core, noticed through changes in the magnetic field and other geophysical measurements. These scientists embarked on journeys, gathered ice cores, and conducted research using various methods like satellite observations and laboratory experiments. They analyzed data ranging from spectral gravimetry to seismic activity, even delving into historical, archaeological, mythological, and religious records to paint a comprehensive picture of our universe. Their findings have pushed the boundaries of our understanding, revealing insights that surpass conventional scientific knowledge. For instance, a decade ago, they unveiled a discovery. A flow of neutrinos from Earth's core serves as a forerunner to earthquakes. Remarkably, they achieved this revelation using portable detection devices, a stark contrast to the massive observatories usually required for such studies. Their foresight extends beyond seismic events. A decade ago, they warned of a surge in climate refugees, a warning that was ignored until recent times when the media began discussing the topic extensively. Their unbiased approach has led them to identify the root cause of anomalous changes in Earth's core and the increase in catastrophic events. A regular pattern of climate catastrophes occurring every 12,000 years, intensifying every 24,000 years. In essence, their work demands attention and respect. It's time to acknowledge true knowledge, especially when it offers insights crucial for survival on this planet. The recurring phenomena have been named the climate Cerberus, after the ruthless creature from ancient Greek mythology. According to current estimates, humanity is expected to fully enter this cycle by the year 2024. The intensity and frequency of disasters are increasing at an alarming rate, unlike anything seen in past cycles. Consider the events that unfolded in China in July 2023. According to data from China's Minister of Emergency Management, floods, landslides, droughts, and tornadoes affected 16 million people across 27 provinces, autonomous regions, and towns. About 703,000 individuals had to be evacuated. Furthermore, since the August 2023, 133,000 people in Beijing alone have been affected by flooding. This marks the most significant flood in China in the past 140 years. On August 6, a magnitude 5.5 earthquake struck, causing the collapse of 126 houses. In just a matter of days, China suffered enormous losses, which continue to grow by billions of dollars. Despite being the world's second largest economy and a leader in innovation and technology, China's geographical location makes it susceptible to various natural disasters. With the worsening of climate catastrophes, China is on the brink of an economic crisis with unpredictable consequences for the global community. 
global trade and production will face significant challenges if the Chinese economy and industry collapse, leading to humanitarian disasters, mass population migrations, epidemics, and famine. It's crucial to note that Alatra warned long before today that China, much like the Colossus with feet of clay, would be devastated by climate catastrophes. They also predicted that only two small habitable areas would remain in China, lacking substantial infrastructure or industry. Furthermore, the Middle East, especially the United Arab Emirates, is another region where Alatra scientists projected a rapid escalation in the frequency and intensity of climate disasters. They cautioned that the entire UAE territory would soon become an abandoned desert. Current observations confirm their predictions, as disasters in this region increase every year. Addressing Climate Changes and Catastrophes Alatra scientists have predicted the increasing dynamics of climate catastrophes worldwide, wreaking havoc on our planet and lives. However, their predictions for the immediate future are even more alarming. While the scientific community focuses on understanding quantum mechanics, Alatra scientists have been exploring questions beyond the quantum limit, urgently studying the impact of cosmic external radiation on our planet's core. This is a matter that requires immediate attention to reduce the consequences on our planet and its inhabitants. To tackle the challenges ahead, we must unite all our resources and skills as humans. Ten years ago, Alatra warned us about the impending dangers, but we ignored them when we still had time to act. Ignoring these warnings now could be fatal for humankind. The current state of the global economy and climate calls for immediate and coordinated action from everyone involved. What should our strategy be to overcome the crises of economic decline and climate change? Should we focus on building shelter cities with vertical farms to prolong survival, or is it more crucial to address the problem on a global scale? Some argue against spreading information about the severity of the situation to avoid causing panic and destabilizing society. However, this approach can be dangerous and hinder the search for practical solutions. It's like a situation where a patient refuses to go to the doctor despite having a disease, hoping for self-healing. This significantly increases the risk of the patient's death. Therefore, open and objective dialogue among all parties is essential to choose the best strategy for saving humanity from a global catastrophe. But what has the global community been doing to address climate issues? We're still focused on collecting funds to combat the rise in carbon dioxide concentrations, which is actually a natural compensatory mechanism during the 12,000-year cycle of catastrophes. Ocean warming leads to carbon dioxide emissions, and the next natural step is the activation of volcanoes to compensate for the heat rise. Our planet needs an increase in carbon dioxide concentration during these cycles, as unbiased studies of ice cores have shown. How does this compensatory mechanism work? Ocean evaporation saturates the atmosphere with water molecules, followed by the ocean emitting suspended carbon dioxide, creating a protective shield against external radiation in the middle layers of the atmosphere. This pattern has been observed during the 12,000-year and 24,000-year cycles, where there's an increase in the number and strength of various types of volcanic eruptions. This is part of the planet's natural self-regulation mechanism aimed at increasing atmospheric carbon dioxide levels for protection. In the past, the ocean played a crucial role by transferring endogenous heat from the Earth's depths into the atmosphere, cooling the magma. It also produced an ample amount of oxygen in the lower layers of the atmosphere, creating conditions for life. At the same time, volcanoes emitted carbon dioxide into the upper layers of the atmosphere, forming a shield effect that protected the Earth from cosmic radiation. Our actions as humans, like polluting the ocean with plastics and hydrocarbons, have disrupted its natural balance. This disruption has caused the ocean to stop its primary function of cooling the magma beneath the Earth's surface. It's concerning because, in past cycles of catastrophe, the ocean played a vital role in preserving life on the planet. Unfortunately, we've deprived ourselves of this protective shield, making the already intense 24,000-year cycle of disasters even worse. Now, humanity faces the risk of sharing the fate of Mars, a planet that lost its ocean and atmosphere due to intense cosmic radiation. The scientists at Alatra tried to warn the world about the catastrophic state of the ocean and its crucial role in our planet's future. However, their warnings went unheard because society didn't fully understand the problem or its consequences. Now, scientific sources are openly discussing the significant energy buildup in the upper layers of the ocean. However, they overlook Alatra scientists' warnings that the ocean gathers even more energy in its lower levels, which can have a destructive impact on our atmosphere. The stored energy in the ocean poses an extreme danger. If left unchecked, it could lead to catastrophic consequences for humanity. The world owes it to Alatra for alerting us to this urgent issue and providing a real solution. But, did society listen? Unfortunately, no. Scientists often think they're too clever to heed warnings from others. However, upon closer examination, the accuracy of Alatra's mathematical model predicting the geometric progression of climate disasters is undeniable. Every scientist can verify this independently using open data. 
The mathematical model is as real as the fact that modern humanity has less than 10 years to take swift and vigorous action for its survival. It may seem like Alatra's warnings are frequently mentioned, but their contributions to our future cannot be overstated. If only society had listened to them sooner, there could have been more chances to tackle this global problem and prevent countless climate disasters that have already claimed and will continue to claim countless lives. Even though the knowledge from Alatra may be extensive and profound, it's essential for humanity's survival that society tries to understand it to the best of its abilities. Ignoring their warnings would be a grave mistake that humanity cannot afford. But those who grasp the importance of this knowledge understand the responsibility to share it with others. The significance of Alatra's knowledge becomes evident, prompting a discussion about its importance. Perhaps one wouldn't have comprehended this without encountering representatives of the Creative Society in Washington, D.C. Their courage and clear-mindedness while discussing pressing problems struck a chord. It becomes apparent that these individuals know what they're doing and why. Now, attention is drawn to the debt owed to Alatra for providing a chance of survival. The scientific community can no longer afford to argue, doubt, or procrastinate. Urgent action is necessary. Emphasis is placed on a pressing issue, requiring immediate collection of all intellectual resources and collective action. Our planet is under the influence of a severe, threatening factor, a cyclical external cosmic impact destabilizing its core. Alatra first presented this information over a decade ago, which has since been confirmed on other planets in the solar system. Failure to address this knowledge could lead to dire consequences. Establishing a unified international scientific center is urged, a collaboration between different fields of the world's best scientists tasked with solving this problem. Collaboration from specialists in various fields of science is essential, including particle physics, astrophysics, climatology, oceanography, and more. Innovative thinkers ready to collaborate in the interest of all humanity are needed. To ensure the successful operation of the Unified International Scientific Center, unrestricted access to all scientific resources and observation platforms is crucial. This will enable the scientific team to work effectively towards addressing this critical issue. Utilizing science to save humanity. An array of tools and technologies will be essential for the international team of scientists to conduct their research comprehensively. This includes, but isn't restricted to, satellite systems, telescopes, seismographs, laboratories, and more. The team will cover a wide range of studies, from examining the electromagnetic field in space near Earth, to monitoring seismic activity and processes within the Earth's core. It's crucial to have access to new technologies, such as those offered by institutions like CERN, NASA, Roscosmos, and the Chinese National Space Administration, among others. Unlimited funding without political or corporate interference is vital for scientific progress. The research must be conducted autonomously, with scientists taking full responsibility for their work. Building upon the knowledge and expertise of the Alatra scientists, our investigations will start from a solid foundation. Their pioneering work in physics, extending beyond quantum mechanics, opens up new horizons for research. Confidentiality is paramount to prevent misuse of scientific advancements. We must ensure that our achievements serve humanity's welfare and advancement, rather than being used for destructive purposes or weapon development. With the guidance of Alatra, we have the opportunity to mitigate global climate catastrophes and improve life on Earth. Their scientific knowledge can significantly expedite our progress, especially as we face challenges that transcend the quantum level, demanding the utmost knowledge and skills. A huge task lies ahead, with many complex challenges to overcome. The journey won't be easy or quick. Many difficulties, obstacles, and risks will be faced. However, bravery, persistence, and unity are necessary to be the scientists who save the world. The creation of a unified international research center is crucial for the mission's success. Any delay in forming this center significantly reduces the chances of success. All interested parties are urged to act promptly and effectively, ensuring the best conditions for collaborative research aimed at saving humanity. Those dedicated to seeking truth are implored to unite for the sake of humanity's survival, for the sake of our children and grandchildren. The changes occurring within the planet's core are undeniable. Without collective intervention, humanity faces demise. Scientists hold the key to a viable solution. A unified scientific community, free from political influence and blessed with many resources, is needed. Action must be taken as a united force, mind, and heart. Relying on politicians or engaging in feudal conflicts cannot continue. The escalating climate events cannot be ignored. Destruction of the planet in pursuit of power and wealth will result in our own destruction. All scientists are invited to join in establishing a unified international scientific center. Details should be available on a website where credentials can be submitted. An urgent response is needed for those who truly care about humanity's future. To the leaders of all nations, an appeal is made for urgent action. Setting aside differences and working towards a unified global economy and world is essential for the planet's survival. Consideration of the model of a creative society, offering vast prospects for development and prosperity, is urged. However, in the present, 
a global catastrophe looms that could parallel Mars's fate. These are not baseless warnings. They are a call to action. It's crucial for everyone to understand the huge task scientists face to prevent a destructive scenario. They'll need all available resources, including those currently allocated to wars and corruption. Ensuring scientists have freedom and confidentiality in their research is essential. A collaborative mechanism involving top scientists from around the world is needed to save our planet. Action must be swift and unified. There is a maximum of 10 years to address this issue. The message should reach not only heads of state, but also journalists, foreign ministry employees, and intelligence services. The formation of an international research center should have started 10 years ago when the climate threat was first raised. Now is the time for deep analysis and swift development of a unified economic model. Stopping inciting discord and disputes and uniting the global community within a unified economic system is crucial. It's time to open borders for unrestricted movement, especially with the increasing phenomenon of climate migration. Giving priority to saving humanity over defending influential groups' interests is essential. As scientists understand the urgency of the situation, world leaders need to create conditions for the formation of a unified international scientific research center. This is the last chance to save the world. Delaying decisions will lead to realizing the mistake when faced with the consequences of climate disasters. To all people worldwide, fellow citizens of one vulnerable planet, support the creation of a unified international scientific research center and urge leaders to endorse this initiative. It's a shared responsibility and a chance for survival. Collaboration should be prioritized over competition, overcoming divisions fueled by selfish interests. We must not succumb to these tricks. Humanity is facing a global danger that threatens all. If our neighbor, whom we may hate, perishes, it won't change anything because we will die along with them. What are your thoughts on the shocking information from the scientists?